Armin is acting Foreign Minister Armin Grigorian on Monday received the Collective Security Treaty Organization Secretary General Stanislav Zas. Grigorian briefed Zas on the situation created as a result of the penetration of the Azerbaijani armed forces into Sunik and Gegharkunik provinces, as well as the regular provocations of Azerbaijan, including from the territory of Nakhijevan. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and his Azerbaijani counterpart Jehun Bayramov held a telephone conversation today to discuss issues related to bilateral relations, regional and international agenda, including the settlement of the Karabakh conflict, the Russian Foreign Ministry said in a statement. Russian armed forces are launching large-scale tactical exercises in the south of Russia from August 9 to September 15 with the involvement of the Air Force and the Black Sea and Caspian fleets. The drills will also be held at the Russian military base in Armenia. Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko has said that very soon he might be replaced by another person. He, however, has stopped short to name his successor. Armenia State Revenue Committee has issued a statement warning businesses and individuals against attempts to illegally import goods of Turkish origin. The statement says that importers are trying to conceal the Turkish origin of the goods by removing the labels or using other illegal methods. One of the charges against Goris Mayor Aush Aushanyan has been dropped, his lawyer Eric Alexanyan told Factor TV. He said the supervising prosecutor found no evidence that Aushanyan had prevented citizens from exercising their voting rights as well as had obstructed the work of the election commission. Aushanyan, the number 32 on the Armenia bloc's electoral list, was accused of conspiracy to buy votes for his bloc. 140 new COVID-19 cases were confirmed in Armenia on Sunday. Three people died. 